All right, this is a GE microwave and I'm gonna show you how to operate it. This particular GE microwave does not have numbers on here, it just has a dial and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what we're gonna do is, once you have your food, you put it in the microwave, great. All right, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna come up to this start button, right here, there's a start button. You don't press that, you have to actually turn the knob. That doesn't even work either. So you go down to cook time, all right, and it says enter cooking and to adjust the time, you just turn this knob it goes all the way up to 99 minutes if you choose. I don't suggest you putting 99 minutes unless you're cooking a turkey or something. And even then, you might want to check the directions for how to cook that turkey. But as soon as you select the time that you want, press this inwards, the dial inwards, all right? You press it inwards, and then you press start, and it is cooking just like that, all right? Now, to stop it or pause it, you just go ahead and pause it like that. All right, you can pause it, and then to cancel it, you go to cancel. All right, now great. All right, so we're gonna go over some other options. We have the add 30 seconds option right here. You can just press that, and it automatically starts with 30 seconds. If you can press it more times, it keeps on going up, and you don't have to, you can bypass pressing start and all that stuff. All right, so let's get out of that. Uh, right here, there's basic other controls. You have the power level. Okay, you can select the power level. Right here, select the power level. All right, enter cook time first. All right, press that. Power level, enter new power level. You can go up to power level all the way up to 10. Now this represents percentage, like 10%, 1%, all this, 5%, 100% right there. All right, so that's power level. When you select the time and then the power level, you just go ahead and take, go back to the dial, press that in, and it starts just like that. There are a lot of different other options on here that you can choose from, like the sensor, you can press the popcorn button where it all makes popcorn, the cook, the reheat button, very, very useful, the defrost time, the beverage for heating up, very, very convenient. And then underneath you have the timer, you can select the timer, steam clean, where you have steam clean, the mute, settings, chef, connect, turntable, you can turn that on and off, filter reset, reset filter, vent fan for turning on the fan for when you're cooking, and the light surface if you want to turn the light on down here. A lot of options, all right? Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.